My name is Jamie Fenn, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite tools for color grading clips to get perfect colors in every one of your videos, just like that. This isn't a sponsored video, I did buy this, but the tool is the X-Ray Color Checker Passport. This is the video edition. I'm going to show you how to accurately balance your highlights, midtones, and shadows. We're also going to adjust the six chromatic colors here by adjusting the hues just a little bit on our vector scope. And also, we're going to nail proper white balance. This does have a white balance card here, which you can actually set in most cameras today manually by basically just kind of putting this in front of the camera and what your camera will do is take a picture and you'll set the white balance appropriately. I actually kind of just set my camera to the white balance of what this light is. And then in post-production, I do the fine tuning. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you my workflow for every one of my videos. You can apply this to any shot, but for this specific shot here, it's always important to expose your middle gray at 42 IRE when you're shooting V-Log on a Panasonic GH5. You will want to expose differently if you are shooting in Rec. 709 or a different log profile, but I typically like to aim for 42 IRE right here. On my false color monitor, that basically means when this turns green, it will be properly exposed. Also, you wanna make sure that you hold up this color checker near your face or as close to it as possible you can even hold it next to your head, but I typically just kind of hold it right in front of my face. I kind of lean back just a tiny bit and then just hold it there for a few seconds and then that should be good. We're gonna come over here to a good point where there's no reflection on the black. Create a node because we're gonna do this first adjustment on this node number one. And we're gonna come down here to the color checker, color match icon here. And we're going to want to first select the type of color checker that you have. I have the X-Ray Color Checker Passport video. And the next thing we want to do is select this down option here on the left where you have these different tools that you can select from and we're going to click on color chart. So that gives you a template of what the color checker is here. And we're going to have to match this up with the color checker that I'm holding. So I'm going to bring the chart down to each one of these corners. You can see there's little white indicators to match up where the chart should be. Match that up just like that. And then I'm gonna come down to source gamma. I know I shot this in V-Log. I'm gonna leave the target gamma and the target color space at what they are. And I'm gonna bring the color temperature down to 5200. That's what I set my camera to and that is what I set my light to. I'm gonna then click match. Next is we want to balance our highlights, midtones, and shadows. I'm gonna hold down Alt and then press S for a new node, it's a shortcut. And instead of having the color chart here now, I'm just gonna turn it off and I'm gonna to come to the power window here and I'm gonna select this tool and I'm gonna just draw around these three shades. And then just to show these three shades now, I'm gonna come up here to this little magical wand and select it. And that will just basically mask out everything around it and you'll see just those three shades. Next, I'm going to Click on our scopes and bring up the big one by clicking on that little expander arrow. And I'm going to select the waveform. As you can see, the red, green, and blue channels are all a little different except for the shadows. So I'm going to come here to our curves option. And I'm going to go to the first little dot here. And the first thing I want to do is bring the blue up to match the red. And I'm going to bring the green up to match the red and the blue. So I'm going to click on the blue. I'm going to take the top of this curve adjustment. I'm going to bring it right up to the red. Then I'm going to move the green up. So I'm going to select the green. Bring that up. I also want to make sure that these midtones and shadows are accurate. And they actually look pretty balanced. The blue midtones could maybe come up just a tiny bit. But the overall brightness of all of this could maybe come up just a tiny bit as well. So I'm just going to come here to the Y. And I'm just gonna bring this up to about 
the 900 mark because that's what bright white would be considered. And then around 384 is where I'd want that 18% gray card to be. And I think that should be good. So let's go over here. I'm gonna click on the power window again. I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm gonna turn off the magical wand. So the next thing we wanna to do to make sure we see accurate colors on our screen is create a new node by holding down Alt or Option and then pressing S. And I'm gonna come back down to that same tool and I'm gonna highlight around the six chromatic colors. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come up here and click on that magical wand. And I'm gonna click down on our scopes and I'm going to blow this one up like that. But instead of using the waveform for this, I'm actually gonna use the vector scope. And once we bring up our vector scope, I'm gonna come back into our curves option here, but this time I'm gonna select the second option on the dots here. And I'm going to select the hue versus hue. If you come down here to these colors here and select each one, it will correlate with each one of these colors here. So as you can see, there are a few things that are off the blue and you know, you could probably adjust a little bit of everything here. So we're just gonna start with the red and bring it down just a tiny bit. Then our yellow can come down just a little bit. The green down a little bit. And you wanna make sure that each one of these is basically pointing at each one of the icons here. So blue can come up quite a bit, magenta, So let's see what this looks like. Let's turn it off. So if you look closely at the chromatic colors, that's off, that's on. There's a very slight change. Now that we've balanced our highlights, midtones, and shadows, and we have balanced our six chromatic colors, the last thing I like to do is scroll to the point where I'm holding up the white balance card. And there's a really simple, easy way to do this real quick. So what I like to do is come back down to that same tool that we've used and put it over our white balance card like that. Select the magic wand, pull up our scopes of our waveform. And you'll see here that the lines don't exactly match up, but there's a quick, easy fix to that. So what I like to do is come down to the color wheels. There's a few ways you can do this, but this is the easy way pretty much is you come down to the bottom left hand corner to our white balance selector and come to the card and select it. And if you look closely at our waveform over here, it is now matched up before it was like that. Come back and watch it again. And now it lines up come back to our tools, our power window, turn that off, turn off our magical wand, and we have a corrected image. If you want to double check skin tones, you can actually create a new node here and come down to our eyedropper qualifier tool. And what we'll do is we'll just select skin in the shot. And what's nice is if you actually have this chart held up, you'll actually see that the skin tones here will show up on the chart. And what you can do is come back into our vector scope and look and see how our skin tones are holding up. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of yellow, but it's also, I think, because of this color checker lanyard here that is showing that yellow. But everything, for the most part, is right to the right of that line, which is fantastic. You can adjust your hues on your skin tones if you'd like by coming into the hue versus hue adjustment on the same node and just selecting a point on the skin and you can actually pull the skin tones more red or more orange depending on how you like your skin tones and if you're sunburned that day maybe you need to uh, orange up your skin a little bit <laughs> but now our image is well balanced perfect exposure skin tones look great i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please hit like and subscribe just feel free to comment below. Thanks again, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. In today's tutorial, I'm... In today's tutorial... In today's tutorial... In today, ta 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 In today's tutorial... <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your colors perfect, just like...
that. 